Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lens and you're watching Get Germanized Guessing Canadian Slang with Canadian Native Dina. All on board. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get Germanized. Well, today my guest Dina here is gonna, well, ask me about Canadian slang, different versions, but it's not uh, French Canadian, right? Where you are from, but it's yeah, no. English Canadian. Exactly. So, yeah, you're an expert on both, but today we're gonna just go for the English Canadian slang and I'm gonna try to guess it and I'd say we'll just get started right away. Lasst uns anfangen. Okay, first word is... Loony. Loony. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think I've heard this before even from normal English. Isn't it like a crazy person? Oh, you're a loony. Like Luna Lovegood, kind of like, oh, you're a loony. Yeah, but not as a Canadian. No? <laughs> no. Really? Is it something good? Is it something positive? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> a loony. Uh, maybe a sentence for context? You're a loony. <laughs> well, no, I'm missing a loony. I'm missing a loony. A, a tooth? Mm. <laughs> yeah. no. no. No? No. Uh, toe? Finger? I don't know. Is it a, it's not part of your body, is it? No. Uh, uh, I'm missing a loony. I'm short a loony. I what? I'm short a loony. I'm short a loony. A cigarette? No. Ah, I give up. What is it? A dollar. A dollar? <laughs> a loony? Why? Yeah. Do you know where that came from at all? Because we have uh, the loon is like a duck in Canada and oh. it's on our dollar. So how, how is any non-Canadian supposed to guess that? That is so know. random. Oh, okay, but that, that's actually quite funny. Well, let's see if I do better with bird number two. Timmy's. Timmy's. Mm -hmm. Is it the candy? No. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I had to think of Tim Tams from Australia, but I guess that's not related at all. Do you know Tim Tams? Yeah. Okay, anyway. Those chocolates? Yeah, Timmy's. Uh, like little children from a Dickinson story. Oh, poor little Timmy. <laughs> Sir, may I have some more? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that kind of Timmy, no? No. Uh, well, maybe a context sentence then. I'm gonna go to Timmy's. Do you want me to get you anything? Oh, that's like a diner or something like that? Kind of? No, not really. A chain? Yeah. Do you, like in a Canadian fast food chain? Yeah, basically. It's a coffee place. Like Wendy's? No. Timmy's? Like a Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, yeah, but like, the, just like that kind of name. Yeah. Like, who are Timmy's? Yeah, Wendy's. well, it's called Tim Hortons. Oh, I know that one. Yeah. We saw one in Barcelona, actually, <laughs> when we went there. That's why I got so excited. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. A Timmy's. That yeah. is quite funny, actually. Timmy's. Well, I kind of, I guess this counts, right? I got this kind of right. Yeah, I gave you an easy sentence. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. All right, next up then. Okay, this is related to the Timmy's. Mm. Double double. Double double. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it like a um, double shot of coffee? No. Espresso shot? No. But it's related to Tim Hortons. Yes. And that's a coffee shop. Yes. Double double. Is it like a kind of pastry you get there? A cake? No. Is it something to eat at all? Yes. Donut? <laughs> no. Double double. <laughs> <laughs> you having fun, aren't you? <laughs> well, what can you get at a Tim Hortons? I don't know. Uh, no idea. Do you just want to know? Mm. Okay, well, it's your order. It's a coffee. If you say, give me one double-double, it's a coffee, a regular coffee with two creams and two sugars. Yeah. I would have never guessed that in two a million creams, years, so... <laughs> <laughs> nope. A double-double. Mm -hmm. Next stop. Two, four. Is it also Tim Hortons thing? No. Okay. <laughs> Like uh, all the slang words in Canada <laughs> revolve this w about around this one no. shop. Okay, uh, what what was it? Two four. Two four. Two four. Like, is it a deal? You get two four free. <laughs> no. Two four three. You have to pay for three and get two. Anyway, like mm -hmm. twenty four. Does it have to do something with time? No. Hey, you got a two four. No. Yeah, yeah. you can. Yeah, that's a sentence you can use. <laughs> Is it like an item then? Yeah. The 2-4? Yeah, it's alcohol related. Like 24% alcohol? No. Is it uh, like a four pack of beer? Uh, it is. A, it's a, yeah. It's a case of beer. A case of beer. Like 24 case of beer. 2-4. Two, oh, a 2-4. A 2-4. <laughs> ah, lazy Canadians. Going to pick up a 2-4. Interesting. <laughs> and yeah, and I mean, I kind of guessed it, but it was a hard journey there. But yeah, interesting. Okay, next word then, I suppose. Took. Took. Yeah. Is it common to use? Took? Yes. 
Very common. <laughs> Took. I'm your father, Took. Okay, no, maybe no. not. I can't find my toque. <laughs> I can't find my tooth. <laughs> toque. <laughs> can't find my toque. My glasses? No. My slippers? It's really cold outside. I need my toque. A scarf? No. A jacket? No. Gloves. No. Hat. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I just ran through all of them. Really, your hat. Yeah, it's like, it's the Canadian word for a beanie. Ah, my toque. Yeah. Where does that come from? I don't know. I don't know. That's I mean, a word. it's a French word, so. Funny. Where the word comes from? French comes from. Canadian. Oh really? Yeah. I thought we were only gonna go through. Yeah, the... but English Canada uses it as well. Ah. They say, "Oh, like I need a toque," but in in the French side, it's like a tuque. Tuki? Tsik. Tsik. She was like, not tsik. Why tsik? I don't know, they just pronounce it differently. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't people from France say like tuke or something like that? Tuke? I don't know if France has that word. Tuk. Tuk. Actually, that's a good question. Huh, maybe people can help us out. Do French people actually use that? But yeah, it's. I think it's time for the next word. Mickey. Mickey, ah, like a joke? Making fun of something? No. Taking the Mickey out of someone? No. Damn it, Isn't I... that a British thing? Yeah, that's a British yeah. thing. That's why I thought I got it. Damn it! No. Okay, uh, Mickey. Uh, Mickey D's. No. Mickey. Mickey Mouse? No. <laughs> I mean... I'm going to pick up a Mickey. Pizza? No. But is it something to eat? It's alcohol related as well. A Mickey. Going to pick up a Mickey. Mm -hmm. A drink? Mm -hmm. Just a drink? No. Well, yeah, a I guess. Like... Beer? No, it's not beer. Like, like a cocktail? No. It's uh, like a small bottle of, usually it's like harder alcohol, so like whiskey or something. Like a shot? No, it's not like the teeny tiny bottles, it's like a medium. Those that you can buy at the supermarket counter, mm. in Germany at least. I don't know. <laughs> they put them there, like these medium sized bottles, like this big, maybe? Kind of, yeah. And yeah, they, they have them at the counter, like usually like disgusting straight liquor, like brands that no one wants, at least not well, younger people. No, they have brands that are... Normal. It's just hmm. the size. I think it's 375 milliliters. Maybe that sounds about right. I think for the ones you similar at least. Why Mickey? I have no idea. Huh. I have no idea where it came from. That's so strange. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah. This one you'll probably know. Mm -hmm. Pop. Pop. Pop like soda? Yeah. Ah, pop. Yeah, because pop. Uh, who uses that? Yeah, Americans use that. Pop. I don't, but mm -hmm. Americans do. I say soda or soft drink. Mm. All right, next up. Click. <laughs> like the click, <laughs> the friends group, people. No. To click with someone. I'm just trying the normal words that I know because I have no idea. Like, use it in a sentence. How many clicks is it? Oh, is it a military thing for distance? One click away. It's a distance thing, but... I, I think military not, people use it, it sometimes. Is it military? Yeah. I don't know. Like, uh, oh, the next uh, next squadron is one click away. I just know that from YouTube, uh, from, from video games. Okay, well, I'll, I'll tell you, but clicks is kilometers. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a slang sense, term then. for kilometers. That does make sense then, yeah. One click. Why like would they not just say away, KM One or click something? away. One, one, why wouldn't they say 1km or something instead? Oh, you can ask the military. The, the military, please <laughs> answer know. my call. How about calling it KM or KM <laughs> instead of click? I mean, I kind of like click for it. It sounds kind of cool. One click away, sergeant. Yeah. Yeah. I like clicks too. Pretty good. I don't really use it. It's more, I guess, like an older generation. Like my dad <laughs> would use it more than anyone. I but... use it. It's pretty cool. But no one would know what I mean, most likely. But mm. yeah. Anyway, next up. Okay, this is a word I don't hear that much coming from Quebec. So mm. I think this might be more like West mm. kind of thing. Keener. Ina Wiener. Keener. Keener. <laughs> I'm I'm much keener on this than you, no? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't have anything to do with keen, being keen. No. You're a real keener. Pretty? No. Uh, annoying? No. Is it a positive or negative word? It's a negative. Is it like a noun or is it an adjective? It's a noun. Like yeah. you're a keener. Yeah. You're a keener. Well, maybe like you're an idiot or something like that. Mm -mm. No, I have no idea. It's basically like a suck up. Suck up like yeah, a like yeah, Arschkriecher in German, like someone who crawls into someone else's ass. <laughs> Arschkriecher. A suck up, yeah. Uh, it's so graphic. Yep, what? that's the German language. Graphic <laughs> and on point. Oh. Mm. Okay. Let's move on though. Kerfuffle. 
I've heard that before. You have. You've got uh, you've gotten us into some kerfuffle, like some conundrum, yeah. basically some situation. What yeah. a kerfuffle! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we use it more as like a like if you're having an argument with someone, you're having a kerfuffle with someone. Oh, like a squabble. Yeah. I think yeah. you might have taught me that. When, really? When we play video games online oh, or something like maybe. that. Not sure, but I definitely heard this before. A kerfuffle. Is it this hmm. like straight up Canadian word that only Canadians use usually? I've only heard it in Canada. I don't know. It might maybe Americans. I mean, I wouldn't use it usually. Like it's too weird, <laughs> kind of like I, because I don't feel like this is a word that many people would know. Yeah. Kind of. So I don't use it. Let's move on to the next word. Snowbirds. Snowbirds. Does it have anything to do with snow? Uh, yeah. Is it just white birds? It's not birds. It has to do with people. <laughs> really? Yeah. Snowbirds. Like I can say, oh, my parents are snowbirds. But it has to do with snow. Mm -hmm. They love the snow. They just uh, love snow. It's actually the opposite. They hate snow. Why? So a snowbird is basically someone who leaves for the winter. Ah. Like a lot of people uh, stay in Florida over the winter. Hmm. So we call those snowbirds. Uh, we call them Zugvögel, like uh, train birds, or basically Zug, like moving birds. Mm. Uh, in this case, it would mean, yeah, birds that move away for certain seasons. Mm. So, similar to a snowbird. Hmm, interesting. Next derp. Knapsack. Knapsack, is it like yeah. a sleeping bag? You would think, but no. <laughs> <laughs> a knapsack. <laughs> My knapsack broke. That didn't help at all. <laughs> uh, my knapsack broke. Is it some a body part? No. My my knapsack broke. <laughs> no. A car? No. It's a thing you use at school. A thing at school that you used to travel with, like a backpack. Yeah. My knapsack. Yeah. <laughs> because you use it to nap on it during school. Or I have what? no idea why we call it. Or you use it to nap in between classes or something as a pillow, maybe. Maybe. Could be. Hmm. Knapsack. It's fascinating. It's a, yeah, it's a backpack. Well, mm, I don't, I'm not doing very well in this video, but I mean, that's fine. We're learning. We're learning new words and that is fun as well. So let's keep going. Freezies. Freezies. Like when you're really cold and you freeze your... <laughs> no? No. <laughs> hmm. uh, is it such a common word? Yeah, it's pretty common. Uh, brain freeze kind of when you eat too much ice cream? No. Does it have to do anything with frozen anything? Yes. Uh, like slippery roads? Slippery mm, roads? No. Frozen lake? No. Maybe use it in a sentence. It's really hot out, so I'm gonna get a freezy. An ice cream. It's not ice Flushy? cream. It's like a frozen yogurt. No, it is. It is a f like frozen food. It's like a popsicle in a way, mm -hmm. but it's like a long, like in a long plastic tube. Oh, we have those. I think I are similar what to that. They're called. We have some that you push out of this cardboard, like like kind of packaging. Mm, ours is not cardboard. It's very, plastic. Ours is very thin cardboard, and you push it out, and you. Yeah, I Lunch guess. On the top. Yeah, kind of the same concept. Ah, interesting. Ha, freezies. Mm. Well, next up then. KD. KD. Yeah, the letter K and the letter D. It's a food. Kebab drinks. Mm. No. <laughs> is it like short for something? It is, yeah. Two words? Yes. Two words, it's really bad for you. Anything. But kids eat it all the time. Doesn't have to do anything with fast food? It's a brand, specifically. Yeah, Krispy like a brand Kreme of food. Donuts? That's not a D. I know. <laughs> Krispy Kreme. KD. Yeah. yeah. Krispy Kreme and then the C is missing, I guess. I don't know. Ah. It isn't Krispy Kreme written with a K at the beginning anyway. Yeah, okay. Kringle. I have no idea. Craft Dinner. Craft Dinner? No idea what that is. Cra you don't know what Craft Dinner is? No. Like the mac and cheese in a box is blue? Ah, uh, Kraft. Kraft. Oh, Kraft. Kraft. <laughs> it's a German word. It means power. Oh. Or strength. No, craft. You for sure. Craft dinner. Well, I, you know I've never eaten is, that right? kind of stuff, mac and cheese. No, but you know what it is. Yeah, people have sent me that. I believe I just haven't tried it yet. Like it's in a box, and apparently, is good until the end yeah, of no. time. Yeah, exactly that. But uh, not not that brand necessarily. A similar brand, but yeah, reminds yeah. me of what Kevin uh, ate at the Kevin Home Alone yeah. movie I, for dinner for Christmas. Yeah. So like, it's basically the brand. If you say, "Oh, I want KD," it's it's mac and cheese, but mm. we use the brand name uh, a like, lot. Like tissue, you use um, Kleenex. Kleenex. Yeah. And in German, we say Tempo because that's like a German brand of uh, Kleenex, basically, uh -huh. of uh, tissues. A toboggan? 
Toboggan. I've heard. You know it what before. a toboggan is. I've heard a toboggan before, but I don't know what it is anymore. I forgot. It's a winter thing. A winter activity. Tobogganing. Oh, is it sledding? Yeah. Ah. There you go. <laughs> Interesting. Are you getting some? <laughs> ah, finally. I think three points so far or something Yay. like that. I bet the audience is counting. Uh, okay, let's, yeah, next one. I'm just curious of what you guys call this, a garburator? Garburator? Is it a garbage yeah. disposal? Kind of, yeah. Really? Yeah. In your sink? We don't have that. I mean, I don't. Really? I don't know any German who has that. It's basically like the, the drain in your sink has like blade options yeah. and then it goes, you know, you, you like press so a button. So that you don't it. Uh, stuff it. Yeah, Block exactly. It. Yeah, we call it a garburator. A garburator. Yeah, yeah many uh, many times seen in horror movies where yeah. in, in <laughs> someone gets like eaten by that thing and killed. Is it possible that you lose a finger in there and shit? Is it that uh, unsafe? Um, yeah, a finger maybe. Why would if you, you build really... something like that? That's why it's not allowed in Germany, I bet. Because we, d we don't do anything that where you can just hurt yourself like that. Well, why would you stick your finger in it? Huh? How? Why? Why? I don't know why. Just people don't. are idiots. Like some people do it probably for fun. I don't know. Like a dare thing. Haha. <laughs> uh, yeah. Kids. It's kids alone. Like for the reason of kids being able to hurt themselves in that. Um, we wouldn't have it. I don't think. Mm. Maybe. Fair. Maybe we do but safer. I don't know. Could be. Could not be. I have no idea. All right. Next up is. Parkade. Parkade. Uh, like an arcade. Just mm. in a park. No. <laughs> <laughs> a parkade. No. Um, a parkade. I'm driving around in the parkade. There's a certain type of car? No. In a parkade. Driving around in a parkade. Mm -hmm. I have absolutely no clue. Uh, a certain area? No. Is it a certain type of vehicle? No. What? How can you be driving around in it then? I mean, it's like a location. Well, not a location. Because they could be anywhere. Like a car track? No. That is very confusing. Are you done guessing? <laughs> No, maybe in more <laughs> sense this one. Uh, I don't really know how else to describe it without... You can find parkades at big malls. No, I, I give up. It's like those big concrete parking buildings, I guess. Like a parking lot, just a building. Yeah, the ones that have like multiple floors you could drive up and could, look for parking. We call a parking house. Ah. Like a park house, basically. A park house. Well, park house in German. A parkade. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Nah, I would have never guessed that. Never even associated that with that. That's so strange. All right, next one. Runners. Runners. I have the runners. No. No. Runners are like uh, gym shoes, run running yeah. shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's easy. Yeah. I just didn't think it would be that easy. Because so. some people call them like trainers, tennis shoes. Hmm. I don't know. Runners. Running runners, shoes. I mean, makes sense to me. I would call them runners yeah. if I had the choice of over the word. Like, which word is the word for running shoes? Well, runners, obviously. Yeah, uh, I don't think I did that well, but it was definitely uh, educational and, and interesting. Hopefully to you too. Uh, Dina and I are going to film more videos in a minute. Actually, we've done one with uh, my friend Rodrigo from Alemanizando about our time in Barcelona and all the differences we noticed to Germany and Canada and Brazil. So if you want to check that out, uh, you can find it well here somewhere around our faces, and probably in the video description. And of course, the next video that we're going to film at some point is going to be available on this channel as well. So subscribe and give a like. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Probably find it in fast food restaurants in a different place. Oh, what the fuck?